everybody. Welcome to my home. My name is Becky. I'm so excited that you're here. Uh, the camera's a little wobbly today because I'm holding it up with my arm. So it's going to be a little wobbly. This is a surprise video, pop-up video that was not planned. Uh, just last minute, I decided to do this because I had a little extra time. I have mentioned before that when I needed something to do a vignette or something, I would go look in my closet and see what I could find. Um, I wanted to show you my, my closet that I shop in. So if any of you, and I know all of you have heard of Liz with Traditions by the Season, she told um, in one of her videos, and it inspired me to do this, but she told us, she said, everybody should have a place to go shopping in their home, a little design closet, a design attic, a design garage, whatever. So I had the extra room in my closet, so I thought that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make myself a little place to put all my goodies in, and um, that way everything's set out on the shelf and I can kind of look at what I've got. It's not in a box, and I don't have to dig through to find to find what I'm looking for. Um, when my oldest daughter moved out, we, moved, we changed her room into a, um, craft room and I did show you that and then when my second daughter moved out we changed that room into a guest room so it is set up for them when they come to visit but the closet was not being utilized so I thought well that is perfect that's what I'm going to use so before I take you in there I want to tell you just because this closet looks neat and organized does not mean that I am organized. It does not mean that my life is put together perfectly. It does not mean any of that. I have stuff crammed under the bed. I have stuff in the dresser drawers. I have stuff in my other closet. Plus, I have a um, storage unit in the backyard that houses all of my holiday stuff. So, we're just real life here. This is, I'm, I'm a hoarder and I'm a collector and I have a lot of crap. But, this helps, and I thought you might enjoy it. It's really neat to look in there and see everything sh uh, sitting out like a like a little mini thrift store. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you. So let's go in. Um, I can give you a quick tour if you'd like. It won't take but a second. Behind the door is our salt and pepper collection. I've shown you this before. To the lady who told me that I had my mouse turned around the wrong way, look, this is the way I showed you that the mouse was sitting like that. And she said, I think you have it backwards. So you are absolutely right. He has his arms, he's supposed to have his arms crossed and he's supposed to be sitting up on the cheese. <laughs> so I had it wrong and I added these skunks. These are new to my collection. So that's our salt, my salt and pepper shaker collection. I've just got a simple little dresser here with, um, you know, just TV and remote controls. Uh, I think I've showed you before that I use this little, I guess it's a celery dish of some sort to use uh, to put remote controls in. I've got this groovy chair over here that I absolutely love. And you might recognize that pillow from our last thrift with me, uh, thrift haul video. And this is another table that David built. It is really not mine. It belongs to my daughter, but she hasn't picked it up yet. <laughs> Um, just, uh, that's a picture of my mom over there when she was young, 16 years old. And then the bed is just loud and proud like I am. <laughs> um, I'm not really stuck on those flowers behind the headboard, but they're there and I just haven't taken them down yet. Um, uh, piece of art. David built the frame to go around it. This little apparatus right here, I have not climbed on in about a hundred years, but I refuse to get rid of it because at some point I'm going to want to get on it and I'm going to need it. And then I have these little pieces of, um, of art that I picked up in my antiquing days. And this is my closet. And I wish I could get it all in a big view for you, like a big ta-da, but it's, it's not, it's not all that impressive, but I'm going to open them up and back up so you can kind of see everything. And this is my storage closet, my design closet. And you can see that I have just used plastic shelving. All of this was pieces, uh, the shelving were, were pieces that I owned already. They were in the garage and I just reutilized them. They, I guess you could 
still go buy them, of course, if you needed it. But they fit in this closet perfectly. But it was just shelves that I already owned. I didn't go out and buy anything new. We'll start at the top. These toys up here belong to my little niece that she comes every other weekend and stays with me. And I have to take those down carefully. So just ignore the toys. But we'll start up here. Just some tall pieces that I have go up there. The little angels, August baby, that's me. <laughs> and then I bought these S hooks from the um, Home Depot and they work perfectly. I have not had the first issue with these cups falling or rattling around or swinging or anything. They hold them so sturdy. These are my salt and peppers, cream and sugars. I have a big collection of cream and sugars and just some more. There's your trashy romance novels back there, the books, all of my green, almost all of my green um, glass pieces. Down here are all my metal pieces, some depression glass back there, some, um, what do you call those things? Chargers, wicker basket. Down here is all of my colored glass. Now I use the pink and the red for Valentine's Day. I use the green for St. Patrick's Day and Christmas and my blue goes down there too but I'm using that right now. So I just want to keep it out. I don't want, to, if I have a color that can be used for different holidays, I don't really want to pack it away with that holiday. I want to have it at hand so that I can use it you know, it, it's more versatile that way. That little spice rack there, my husband bought, and I want to fix it up and revamp it and make it good as new. So that's an upcoming project that I have. And then I just have some, there's the green glasses that I just showed you, or maybe you haven't seen that video yet. I'm not sure which one's coming up first. <laughs> this piece right here is awesome. It's on a Lazy Susan. I use it when I'm having parties. Um, it's so awesome. I'll give you a closer view. Love it. I believe it's California pottery, but I'm not entirely sure. I use those amber glasses on my table. All the dishes that you see me pulling out and you're like, where do you put all those dishes? Here's where I put those dishes right here. I just got them stacked up and it's not as much as what you would think, right? <laughs> I still have some in the closet in the kitchen or the cabinets in the kitchen. And then this is just, you know, if I need clear glass, there's my clear glass. If I need some small saucers, there's my small saucers. If I need candlesticks, there they are. I, I know where everything is and it's easily accessible and displayed so I can find it. So much easier than going through a box. So here it is, my shopping closet, design closet. There you go. And, um, you know, I do have different uh, drawers in the dresser like this drawer houses plate holders this drawer houses what do you call this dish towels this is just stuff that like I said it was versatile for say for different holidays and then all that right there is for I'll open it up and show you these are my um tiered tray things all of my little miniature things so I keep them in there and Pull them out when I need them and just go shopping whenever I want to change up my tiered tray. And that's it. I hope you liked it. This, like I said, was going to be a quick video. Let me turn the camera on. Okay, so like I said, quick, quick video. Nothing fancy. Just me showing you my hoard. And I hope you guys know how much I appreciate all of your comments and watching the videos. And I love you all. And I will see you later. Bye. Bye.